Is it Barry Allen? Is it a Concorde? Is it a Bugatti Chiron Super Sport? Is it my dad abandoning my family? All of these things are speedy enough that they can make Mo Farah's top speed look like a dawdling snail's pace. These are all fast things, but are they the fastest? It's time to find out. Get your sneakers on. These are the fastest things in the world. Number 15, the Blackbird. An aircraft bearing the name of a well-known little bird has very little in common with the real thing, except for its wings, maybe. The Blackbird is a new 20th century aircraft designed and engineered by Kelly Johnson and his Skunk Works team. The infamous pairing have a reputation for delivering impossible technologies in incredibly short, strategically critical timeframes, and the Blackbird, or U-2 as it was officially known, was no exception. Every challenge was met with undaunted perseverance. In fact, such was the difficulty of the project that everything for the new aircraft had to be invented. Now that takes commitment. Johnson said it was Skunk Works' toughest assignment, but they delivered on their promise in a record-breaking 20 months. And that wasn't the only record to be broken. When tested, the aircraft itself exceeded speeds of up to 2,000 miles per hour, which wasn't any faster than most, but it could maintain this speed for hours at a time, unlike others. The difference was the material it was constructed of. Instead of conventional materials that would melt at such speeds due to rising temperatures, the Blackbird was made of titanium alloy. The first aircraft, a single-seater, was designated the A-12 and hit the skies on April 30, 1962. It was joined by the larger two-seater SR-71, which made its first flight on December 22, 1964. Two record-breaking planes in two years. That's not bad. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. Number 14, Rocket-Powered Motorcycle. If you've ever seen a rocket take off on a mission to space or watched a rocket launcher weapon in action on the big screen, then you'll know those things have a lot of power behind them. Not only that, but they're quick. The blink and you'll miss it kind of quick. So imagine the power of a rocket paired with a motorcycle. Yeah, I don't know about you, but the very thought makes my eyes water. But for Eric Tobola of the United Kingdom, the idea intrigued him so much so that he set about getting hold of a rocket-powered bike to test at the Santa Pod Raceway in England in 2011. Described as totally mad by the commentary team, he took to the track during the FIA European Finals, setting a new world's best terminal speed of 286 miles per hour from a standing start, completing the quarter mile in just six seconds. While the commentary box continued to tremble in the wake of the bike flying past, Eric leapt off his two-wheeled rocket, beaming from ear to ear. In fact, he was so thrilled by the experience that he put on a repeat performance at the Haltech Manufacturers Cup Finals at the Bradenton Motorsports Park in Florida shortly after. On that occasion, Tabol ran the quarter mile in just 5.2 seconds, shocking the younger audience and blowing Peter Svensson's previous record of 5.7 seconds to smithereens. Not satisfied with breaking the record, he's keen to break his own, saying that with enough space, the bike is capable of covering the quarter mile in the four second range. Now that's crazy. Number 13, the Cheetah. Sprinting through the forest with a cheetah in hot pursuit sounds like something out of a horror movie, but for its prey, that is what they experience each day. If they try to outrun them, they're simply wasting time and energy. I mean, these guys travel at speeds of up to 113 kilometers per hour. So unless you jump into the safety of a car, you're a goner. 
The fastest land animal in the world, they can rival a race car, accelerating from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 3 seconds. Specifically built for speed, cheetahs are slender with long, thin legs, coarse yellowish tan fur, and solid black spots. They're quite distinctive, so if you ever see one, unless they are securely caged, best get out of the way as quickly as you can. And not only are they fast, they have exceptional eyesight and are also very agile, able to turn in mid-air while sprinting. So if they miss you on the first go, chances are it's the only chance you'll get. They'll be back on your trail in a matter of seconds. Now that's comforting, isn't it? Number 12, the Peregrine Falcon. If you have a fear of birds, especially the ones that like to swoop down and take you by surprise, you won't be a fan of this breed. The fastest animal on the planet. With her wings tucked in, she dives at speeds of 300 kilometers per hour. The Peregrine Falcon's cruising speed lies between 40 and 60 miles per hour, but when diving to catch its prey, the bird certainly steps it up a notch. In fact, several notches. This falcon can reach speeds of up to 220 miles per hour. But how is this even possible, you ask? Well, the Peregrine has many features that set it apart from other falcons, making it one of the deadliest predators in the world. These features include its large, muscular breastbone, pointed wings, stiff feathers, and incredibly efficient respiratory and circulatory systems. This combination helps the falcon to generate more flapping power than other birds, which increases its in-flight mode, allowing it to reach mind-boggling speeds. Extremely aerodynamic, the peregrine also has very strong lungs, and its heart beats between 600 and 900 times per minute, allowing the oxygen to travel throughout its body at high rates so it does not fatigue quickly. This bird is effectively a well-oiled machine. Number 11, Marlin. A game fish mainly caught by anglers for sport, tagged, and then released. Marlin species include the Atlantic Blue Marlin, Black Marlin, Indo-Pacific Blue Marlin, Striped Marlin, and White Marlin. Easily recognized by their long, spear-like upper jaw and tall first dorsal fin, the marlin is a magnificent fish that has been known to strip line off a reel to escape. For those who enjoy the thrill of the chase, the marlin should be on the top of the list. But did you know that they've been labeled the fastest fish on the planet? A black marlin finally caught on a fishing line had taunted the unfortunate angler for hours, previously stripping a line off his reel at 120 feet per second, meaning it was swimming at nearly 82 miles per hour. Now that's one fast fish, but it's not the fastest. In fact, one was recorded swimming at 129 kilometers per hour. Now that's one fast fish. Number 10, Bugatti Veyron. This vehicle is a petrol head's dream. The fastest and most expensive street legal production car in the world. The Bugatti Veyron 16.4 has a proven top speed of over 400 kilometers per hour. There's one downside to this sports car and it's a biggie, the price tag. For the average person, like you and I, the base price of $1,700,000 is a tad off-putting. But for a race car driver, it's probably a bargain. Built by Volkswagen AG subsidiary Bugatti Automobiles SAS and sold under the legendary Bugatti marquee, the Bugatti Veyron reached full production in September 2005. The car is named after racing legend Pierre Veyron, who won the 24-hour Le Mans race in 1939 while racing for the original Bugatti firm, and the design mirrors that of the classic Bugatti models like the Type 35. They again claimed the land speed record for production cars on July 4, 2010 with the Veyron Super Sport prototype, with Bugatti test driver Pierre-Henri Raphaël at the wheel. He managed to get the car to reach speeds of just over 434 kilometers per hour. Now that's hair raising. No wonder the Veyron is completely sold out. Number 9, the Thrust SSC. There are a lot of people out there that get a real buzz out of speed. In fact, the faster the better. 
So the very thought of driving or being a passenger in a car that can travel faster than the speed of sound would be a dream come true. And the good news is, this car exists. Not only is it the fastest car in the world, but the Thrust SSC was the first car ever to have broken the sound barrier. Can you imagine the G-forces behind this one? With a record top speed of 1,227 kilometers per hour, it leaves every other motor vehicle on the planet in the dust. Designed with a maximum speed of 1,400 kilometers per hour in mind, this supersonic car's engineering is an impressive feat of human ingenuity and desire to go faster than ever before. Two Rolls-Royce Spey 205 turbojet engines were assigned the enviable task of producing the same output as three naval frigates. 100,000 horsepower. They delivered on their promise. With temperatures at the rear of the vehicle exceeding more than 300 degrees Celsius and sound levels approaching 175 decibels, it took a real pro to keep the Thrust SSC on the straight and narrow during the testing stage. That job was assigned to RAF Wing Commander Andy Green, who made headlines around the world in October 1997, taking the car to an unprecedented 1,227.985 kilometers per hour, or a kilometer every three seconds. Now that's impressive. Number 8. The Japanese Maglev. Now, this train might not be the famous Hogwarts Express from Harry Potter, but due to its speed, it may appear to levitate. The SC Maglev, or Superconducting Magnetic Train, was developed by the Central Japan Railway Company and the Railway Technical Research Institute in the 1970s. The train works on the principle of magnetic repulsion between the cars and the track. In fact, it's all in the name Maglev, really. The combination of the words magnetic and levitation effectively describe the virtual levitation or floating of the train, which is achieved through the use of an electrodynamic suspension system, or E. Yes. Two sets of cross-connected metal coils wound into a figure eight pattern form electromagnets, with the train itself a superconducting electromagnet. This almost magical maglev moves slowly forward on its rubber wheels, allowing the magnets beneath the train to interact with those on the guideway. Once it reaches 150 kilometers per hour, the magnetic force is strong enough to lift the train four inches off the ground, eliminating friction to allow for increased increasingly high speeds. Can you imagine the sight? Aside from its levitational properties, the train is also famous for its speeds. In fact, in April 2015, a seven-car maglev broke two previous land speed records for rail vehicles when it was clocked at 603 kilometers per hour. No wonder it looks like it's flying. Oddly enough, officials described the trip as a comfortable zip along a test track near Mount Fuji. I wonder if the 49 Central Japan Railway employees it was carrying would say the same. Number 7. Rap Legend Twista now, this may sound a little unusual and perhaps something you haven't ever considered, but rappers have also set records simply by singing. America is home to a host of rap artists, with Kanye West, Jay-Z, and Drake among the many who have made a living out of their rhyming talents. Chicago itself is considered a veritable rap mecca, with one of the city's most revered pioneers, Twista, born Carl Terrell Mitchell, making a name for himself for something other than singing. In 1992, he held the Guinness World Record for the fastest rapper in the world. To gain the title, he pronounced a whopping 598 syllables in just 55 seconds. Just imagine if your toddler could talk that fast. Nightmare. Kind of articulate when it be given a venomous rhythm and I'm gonna put him up in a predicament that it be cannibalism and I'm gonna bow. To ensure a place in the record books, Twista perfected the art of chopping, wrapping each word as though it were projected from semi-automatic firearms. Every verse is an adrenaline rush as Twista's mind and body work in concert to produce sounds and rhythms that seem inhuman. Not to mention the fact you wonder how he has time to breathe. At 18, he was working at McDonald's, but at 19, he was the first Chicago rapper to gain national recognition. That's a pretty good effort. Number 6. The World's Fastest Painter 
If you are looking at getting your house painted anytime soon, you should have this guy on speed dial, particularly if you were planning on paying by the hour. Can you talk us through some of, some of the belt on this street pad? To put his speed into perspective, it takes 30 seconds for the average athletic person to run the 200 meter dash. The same amount of time it takes New York artist Morris Katz to complete an entire painting. Yeah, that's right, 30 seconds. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd struggle to complete a painting in 30 hours, so this guy must be some sort of genius. Katz set the world record in 1988 when he painted a 12 by 16 inch canvas of a child playing in the snow. The artwork was then framed, which took a further 8 seconds. He certainly doesn't muck around, does he? Not only did Katz receive an award for being the world's fastest painter, but his name now also appears alongside Pablo Picasso's under the heading of Most Prolific Painters. Upon his death in 2010, he had completed 225,000 paintings, whereas Picasso was credited with 13,500. Katz appeared on 60 Minutes, David Letterman, and Oprah. He also taught art as well, teaching speed painting classes at the Notre Dame School, with many eager students watching over him as he whipped up the occasional mountain landscape amongst others. And for those who couldn't make it to one of his lessons, he published a book, Paint Good and Fast, 1985, with a title as straightforward as his philosophy on art, fast, democratic, and to the point. Number 5. Pebble Time Kickstarter Project Foxlink released the Pebble Time smartwatch developed by Pebble Technology in May 2015. So you go in and you can see, you know, music that's playing right now. Now, that might seem unremarkable, but they had more than one reason for launching it to the world. The second being as a fundraiser. Just 49 minutes after launching the product, as well as its fundraising on Kickstarter, the Pebble Time smartwatch received $1 million, breaking a world record at the time. To date, it is the most funded Kickstarter, having received $20.4 million from over 78,741 generous donors. The fundraising campaign ran for just a month, with the second generation smartwatch itself introduced as the first Pebble to have color e-paper display, a microphone, new charging cable, and a time-optimized operating system. With an initial goal of just $500,000, Pebble had no idea just how popular the watch would be, blowing predictions right out of the park. It also landed Pebble the award of being the fastest earning project in crowdfunding website Kickstarter's history. Each watch was sold for $159 to early backers and $179 to everyone else. Once it hit the retail market, the price increased to $199. This was Pebble's second Kickstarter campaign, with the first launched in 2012, raising more than $10 million from 69,000 people. The company's goal at that time was also an easy target of just $100,000. Number 4. Venturi Electric Vehicle it's not only motorcycles that are raced at the Bonneville Salt Flat, where the late great Burt Monroe set an under 1,000cc world record back in 1967. The flats are renowned for hosting all manner of motor vehicles attempting to set world record speeds. In fact, in September 2014, the Fédération Internationale de l'Automobile, or FIA, confirmed a world land speed record set by the Venturi Buckeye Bullet 3 VBB3, an electric vehicle. The vehicle reached a speed of 212.615 miles per hour at Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah, USA on August 22nd. Driver Roger Schroer was required to make two speed runs, each in opposite directions and within 60 minutes, to secure the Category A Group 8 Class 8 record. The Venturi team and its partner, the Center for Automotive Research, the Ohio State University, had traveled to Utah in pursuit of the fastest world land speed record for an electric vehicle regardless of classification. However, their efforts were initially hampered by extreme weather conditions within the region. A series of floods left portions of the track under 25 centimeters of water. However, the team waited it out and were well rewarded for their attempts and patience several days later. Number 3. The JCB Diesel Max 
Can you imagine driving off-road in your four-wheel drive across open country at speeds that would make your eyes water? It certainly isn't on my bucket list, that's for sure, but for some, it's all they've ever dreamed of. World notoriety for speed, no matter the cost. In 2006, Andy Green of the United Kingdom headed off to the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah to seek his fortune. No stranger to excessive speeds, having reached a record speed of 1,227 kilometers per hour in the Trust SSC in 1997, this guy has guts. On this occasion, however, Green was driving a totally different automobile, a diesel-powered four-wheel drive, the JCB Diesel Max. Andy hoped to break the international land speed record for diesel-powered cars of 235.756 miles per hour, previously set by American Virgil Snyder. However, what he ended up achieving was a whole lot more. Two days running, he tore strips off the previous record, reaching 335 miles per hour on the first day and a whopping 365 miles per hour on the second, the highest speed ever reached in a diesel-powered vehicle. This record still stands. Number 2. Size Gentleman Hits Record 100 Million Views there wouldn't be many of you that haven't been privy to the catchy Gangnam Style rap, not to mention the dance moves that went along with it. After debuting with this little gem in 2012, many thought the South Korean rapper Psy would be a one-hit wonder, but it appears they were wrong. In April 2013, he released Gentleman, a song that had hit 100 million views in just three days. The single wasn't the only one to hit record views, as the Russian meteor had reached the same number the February prior. Although considered astonishing at the time, it came as a real shock to many that Gentleman pulled the same audience in quick succession. The speed with which Gentleman garnered views was believed to be linked more to its newsworthiness than with viewers' curiosity at Psy's continued success. With Gangnam Style still holding the title of the most viewed video of all time, and the Gentleman also receiving record views, Psy, it seems, is on a roll. Number 1. Elevators in the Taipei Tower in Taiwan If you've ever ridden in an elevator that's just a little too fast for the stomach to handle, then you might consider this one in Taipei off limits. <laughs> Effectively the Ferrari of elevators, it's located inside the 509 meter high Taipei 101 building in Taiwan. Transporting its passengers from the 5th to the 89th floor in just 37 seconds, the elevator travels at a record 60.6 kilometers per hour, or 1,010 meters a minute. Traveling as fast as your average car on a city street, it must feel almost like being transported through time. Probably not best to eat your lunch before hopping aboard either, you'd hate to lose it in front of an audience. And at the cost of more than $2 million a pop, the cleanup bill would be enormous. This Taipei elevator is one of eight that have made the top five list in the world, with several others taking passengers at speeds between 36 and 45 kilometers an hour. They seem relatively sedate in comparison, don't you think? It makes perfect sense for a car or a motorbike to be fast, even a cheetah, but an elevator? Now that's something out of the ordinary. I mean, can you imagine flying up, or down for that matter, at 60 kilometers per hour? I couldn't think of anything worse. What about you? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.